Hey y'all, this is Melvin McKinney from McKinney Sounds, and I'm about to show you what I'm about to do to one of my rats. I got a... This is what I'm trying to cram into this rack. I got a Tascam US1641. I have a Behringer SR18. I have a uh, Apple Airport Stream Router. I have a, uh, a Personas RTA mic. And I have a Dell computer with a, a SKB case. Uh, it's an eight space case. So I'm trying to cram all of that into one case. And um, my goal is to have like an all-in-one. I want the computer, I want the mixer, I want the interface. I want all of it in one piece. So let's get to it. This is my Dell computer that we're talking about. It's an old computer. Um, since I'm running a Behringer SR18, I have the Behringer SR Edit software on here. If I want to run Smart or Room EQ or Sistune off of this computer. If also, if I wanted to uh, multi-track record, I have a built-in hard drive inside this computer uh, that I pretty much I can do everything from this computer. Now this interface, it allows me to, you know, tune the room or whatever. Uh, if I interface for something else, it's right there. And I have the Behringer SR18 16 channel mixer. So I got a mixer, I have an interface, I have a computer. What's gonna go up here is my power conditioner to plug everything up. And I'm gonna show you on the back of how the routers and my RTA mic case gonna go in here. This is my Apple Airport Extreme. And right here is my Personas RTA microphone. See? So I want to have this in the back of the case stabilized so I won't be jittering around when I move the case. So I got this Velcro on the side to stick it. And I also have it on the back here as well. So we're going to go to the back and find a place to stick it. Okay. I got the airport. It's string mounted in there. It ain't going nowhere. Then I got my uh, RTA mic mounted in here as well. I kind of made it a little shock proof. I got some pads. I painted it with black paint. I ran out of black spray paint. And I kind of wrapped these right here with black cloth. So, you know, it won't be looking out uh, tan looking color. So, it looked pretty good back here. It's not a true rack computer, but we made it rack mountable. Okay, so far I got the interface uh, hooked up USB, and I got the Ethernet hooked up to the router. When you have it neat and uh, when you have everything in one place, it's easy to diagnose uh, and fix whatever problem you have. And it also make your setup look cleaner instead of having a, you know, a desktop on the side of your case and cables hanging. Um, everything is in one spot and it makes you look even more professional. So this little dongle right there is a Wi-Fi dongle. Uh, this computer does not have a built-in wireless card, so you have to add an external USB wireless dongle to it to connect to the internet. So if I want to connect to the internet at the venue or whatever, I come out of here, but when I'm using the board, um, I come out of my own network to my router. If I wanted to use the mixer, I would use my network, which is my router. So this TAN cable is ran to the mixer the USB for the mixer. So this, this cable right here. And I'm gonna show you how I fished it. You can't go from the hole from the top because the power conditioner is gonna be right there. So since this is a hole, I just fished it through here. I just got this, you know, tied up for right now. 
that's how I made my access to my USB. And I will come through this same hole for my remote as well. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to fish this wire in this case with one hand. So you run it through here and you grab it. And you're just gonna pull it up. Keep pulling. We're pulling Ethernet cord. All right, now I got this left. So let's plug it in for right now. And all the excess, you're gonna throw it in the back and make it nice and neat. Okay, um, this is, I made this black with gaff tape. I didn't have no shrink wrap. Uh, then too, uh, well anyway, I used gaff tape and I got my remote hooked up and I got my USB hooked up. So whenever you get done, you can just unplug them and just stick them in here, whatever you want to do with it or, well, I ain't got that far yet, so that's fine. Okay, this bag right here, this, uh, steal your aux cable for the front of the mixer. Well, anyway, we have our power conditioner mounted in there, plugged in. Uh, we have our mixer right here. We have our router. We have our RTA mic. We have an interface and computer. Everything all in one case. Um, of course, yeah, I got this gap tape. Um... Everything is routed nice and neatly. Uh, easy to troubleshoot if you have any problems. Uh, this cable right here is the main power cable. And this right here is running to the mouse and the monitor. So let's go around the front and power it on. All right, the power on button right here. Be sure to connect your Ethernet and your USB. And you can turn it on. This computer is not going anywhere. It's nice and snug. See the whole case is smooth when I move this computer. So nice and tug in there, it's not going anywhere. So you can have this case upside down, right side up, left side, whatever. The computer not going anywhere. Okay, this goes our desktop. We have our edit for our mixer. We have trance, Rumi Q, smart, uh, all the software that I need on this computer, this dedicated computer for this mixer. Some of these programs, you can pretty much set uh, to auto start. Soon the computer turn on and boot up the software with the operating system, it automatically open without having to click to open it. So we're gonna open up edit. So let's connect for the mixer to PC, whatever on the mixer. So we are connected. As you can see, we are connected right here. And let me give y'all a little bonus. No, uh, I do it on another video. Click the link above to watch this bonus that I'm about to show you. Uh, what I discovered about edit, ethernet, and Wi-Fi all at the same time. So let's close out of here. Well, let's keep that open. I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you the reason why we got the USB plugged up. Let's open up tracks. <coughs> 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 tracks. 
Tracks live or what I use them all to track record. Uh, live recordings and stuff. Let's go to, let's go to system settings. So click that. You want to make sure you go to this driver. Go to yes. Sometimes it'll be on stereo app, but make sure you're on multi app. And click OK. Click new session to start a new project. And you can, you know, select my documents or. What I normally do is I record to another hard drive. Instead of the C drive, I got another hard drive built in. It's uh, 500 gig, but it's really 465 gigs. So I save to here and make a folder in here. Click open. Type in the file name, and that's it. So that's pretty much all I have to show you. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to this channel. Find us on Facebook at McKinney Sounds, uh, Twitter at McKinney Sounds. Our, our email is thefolks at McKinney Sounds.com. And thank you for watching. God bless you.